Hello, hi, it's me, Mare, and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be drawing cartoon characters that my followers on Instagram thought reminded them of me. So I picked six characters from all of the ones that were suggested to me, despite not actually watching some of the shows. <laughs> I picked the characters based on appearance for some of them and also just general vibe. You'll see what I'm saying in a second, but the characters that I picked were Miss Jetson from the Jetsons family, Jane from Daria, Lizzie McGuire from Lizzie McGuire, uh, Louise from Bob's Burgers, Kim Possible from Kim Possible, and Candace from Phineas and Ferb. Let's get into the video. Mom! Phineas and Ferb are making a title sequence! First up today, we have Candace from Phineas and Ferb, which is one of my all-time favorite characters from any TV show. I watched Phineas and Ferb a lot growing up. The, like, Aglet song, I remember singing that, like, before my basketball games when I was younger. So, yeah, Candace is just kind of an OG character for me. I've always been drawn to her. I think her bossiness and her, like, sort of, uh, just attitude has always been cool for me to like see. I was always like sort of like a timid child and so I always kind of wanted to be more like bah like in her face like Candace so yeah I really liked that I was able to draw her. Dad. Yes Dad. Louise Hi. yes. Oh, did Hi. you know that it only takes two pounds of pressure to drive someone's nose bone into their brain? That's what? Two pounds that's it dad. Why are you telling me this Louise? Revenge. Next up we have Louise from Bob's Burgers, which is a classic character if I ever known one, because she is just so, I don't even know, like she just says whatever that she wants. So I like love that about her. She's so, you know, naive, but also so smart. I think that's sort of um, something we have in common. The cute looking one. Gloria, oh dear. I can't let her see me looking like this. I've got to put on my morning mask. I'll be right there, George. <laughs> Hi, Glor. And then next up, we have Miss Jetson from the Jetsons family, which I had never seen this show before, but she seems cool too. My friend suggested her, so I picked it because I was like, she knows best. She's such a cute character. And so I, I do need to watch the Jetsons family, but I've, I've never watched it. So um, I only watched that clip that I just showed to illustrate the point at which that's the character and that's who she is so yeah <laughs> um that's a kind of the vibe a drop of grape soda a teaspoon of salt a pinch of oompa loompa and resto okay the formula needs some work maybe a dash more oompa loompa and then next up we have my favorite Lizzie McGuire. Oh my gosh. I loved this show too when I was younger. I literally want my YouTube channel to be like Lizzie McGuire's show eventually. I want to have like my own little cartoon character that comes and hangs out with me in my videos, but that's going to be when I get my own, when I get a new computer. I will start to do that because the editing power I, that I need is just too supreme for my setup that I have now. But anyways, yeah, Lizzie McGuire, she's just, she's so cute. Like, I don't know what else to say. When somebody suggested that I reminded them of Lizzie McGuire, I was like, okay, bet, deal, done, I'm doing it. enough that the regionals are tomorrow now this extreme weirdness stress not kp you'll handle it that's what you do <laughs> you make my life sound like cake let's see you're smart athletic pretty and popular sounds pretty cakey to me okay flip mode playing video games watching wrestling and downing snackage it must be brutal being you uh, try the demands of raising rufus as a single parent <laughs> not to mention the pressures of maintaining my image the next character that I have for you today is Kim Possible, which another boss. I couldn't find like the, a really good clip to like illustrate her point, but she always has this like sort of like half frown. So I think that's why I kind of drew her like this, just being a little skeptical, a little like, hmm, what's going on? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> because she's just, she's smart and 
she's, I don't know. I, I haven't really watched this show in years. I just want to say how proud I am today. Knowing that I have self-esteem gives me even more self-esteem. On the other hand, having all of you know that I had low self-esteem makes me feel kind of bad, like a big failure or something. I, I want to go home. <laughs> the last character we have is Jane from Daria, which I never seen the show before, but the clips that I looked up of the character like made me fall in love with her. Her appearance first, I was like, wow, she's like, she's so cool. She's so mysterious. And then like you watch her, the clips of her in the show and she's like timid and scared, but also like scary. <laughs> okay. So now we have all the outlines done and that means it's color time. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's hang out in color. <laughs> I don't really know what to say for this part, so we're just gonna hang out for the rest of the video. It was really fun drawing these characters. It definitely made me want to draw more characters, like kind of design more characters in a sense. Like I want to I want to try to draw more characters that have their own personalities and their own, um, you know, story. So I think this was a good exercise for me to kind of practice like taking these different styles and sort of making them my own while also keeping the same like look of their original design. Um, because I, I definitely made all these characters look like Marin characters, but they still have their essence of original character vibe in it. You know, you can obviously tell, I don't know. You know what I mean. I, I didn't really go too crazy with the coloring for these because I just wanted to have something done. I wasn't really focused on the details as much as like the overall look of it, which is something that I've been doing in some of my work, trying to not focus so much on all of the like minuscule little stuff, just kind of like getting something out there on the page, on the iPad, you know, drawn and done. And that was kind of my goal with this, like just, you know, we're just gonna draw, we're just gonna color this, we're all in one sitting, you know, I'm gonna get this done. So that's what I did. I don't know how this format is going to work out for more videos in the future, like draw with me videos. I think I could have a little bit better lighting and stuff, but you know, overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how everything looks. It's, you know, I don't know guys, it's been such a weird time for me right now and I just, it's always a weird time though, when is it not? Especially when you have depression and anxiety, you know, it's a constant battle with kind of, you know, making sure you're okay and making sure you're like eating enough, like it seems to be always like a problem for me, like not eating enough because I have irritable bowel syndrome, so if I eat the wrong thing, it can really upset my stomach. So then I get in this sort of habit of being scared to eat. And then I just am like not feeding myself. So I, this past week I was in this first Friday event and literally like, I just didn't eat like the whole day and it was terrible. Like I am still recovering from it. Like I just, I can't do that to myself. I have to take my sleep seriously. I have to take eating seriously. I have to take my exercise seriously. And then when I don't, it's like a train wreck. <laughs> so, um, yeah, excuse my um, mental health babblings, but that's kind of just what's been going on. I am hoping that, you know, with the summer coming up that I can create a, a better schedule for myself. I think I need to watch a lot of those like videos on YouTube that people are talking about Notion and like making a schedule for themselves. I think that's something I need to do and um, really work on sticking to the schedule. So that's kind of uh, what I, I'm going to be working on for myself here in the next few weeks trying to just be consistent on social media and with my shop and with my own personal health so 
that's kind of what we got going on. I, I'm so happy that you guys were able to sit through this video and hang out with me. It's been really nice uh, just having this sort of community to talk to about stuff. Not that I even have that many viewers or anything, but it's just nice like when people leave comments and are cheering me on or, you know, just kind of feeling the same way. So, you know, keep commenting on the videos. It's really nice and I really look forward to reading all of the comments. So, yeah, I just thank you guys. This is, thank you for watching my video and just being here and listening because it means a lot and I am excited for next week's video. I am posting a vlog uh, from the first Friday event so stay on the lookout for that and um, go check out my online store. I have some new stickers and stuff going up today which I'm really excited about so yeah thank you guys for watching again this this has been a good time. So thanks for listening to my rambles because that's all I have to say. <laughs> so yeah, have a good day everyone and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.